Professor Cohn, the international community has been uh, paying great deal of attention to the developments in the Middle East, particularly, of course, the revolution uh, in Egypt. Could you comment on the implications for China? Well, the implications for China are not so apparent but profound. Uh, and I think there'll be long-run implications. We can't expect mobs uh, amassing in the streets of China immediately as a result of this. But it's obvious, despite the efforts of the government, lots of people know about this, increasing numbers. And of course, there are some similarities between conditions in China and conditions in some of these other countries, despite China's fabulous economic development. So I think we're going to witness a gradual increase of social activism in China. And I hope that the strolls that are being called for every Sunday at 2 o'clock will gradually accumulate people. They were very effective with respect to certain controversial environmental projects such as in Shama and Shanghai. And of course, this is much more controversial. This involves political control. But there are lots of people who are yearning for freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, and there are people who want a decent uh, government. They want the police to behave themselves, to follow their own laws. Uh, there's a crying out for justice, I think, in China that we'll hear from increasingly because there are still hundreds of millions of people in China who have social, political, economic grievances. They need a proper outlet. I think this Jasmine Revolution is going to have a continuous